Hello friends, guten Tag, ich bin Alea. Hi, this is Alea and this is another Thai video. Obviously, toink. Um, yeah, so we went again to Casa Bahia where we always go during the weekends. And today it was extremely foggy and cloudy and it was just creepy. But yeah, whatever the weather, we're still going down under. And that rhymes! Anyway, the full purpose of this video is to show you the raw shots of my Insta360 ONE RS camera. I finally got to dive with it after waiting for over a month maybe because I erroneously purchased the incorrect dive case from Insta360. I had to return it, I had to buy another one, and waited for my friend to bring it home. Anyway, so in this dive, when we went down, the current was pretty strong. so we had to go really close to the bottom and just for reference of how strong the current was i'm gonna show you a video of the sea plants <laughs> i don't know what these are called but you can see they're like swaying all the way to the right side because it was really that strong and then we went to this i don't know it, it looks like a cotton field which was really really pretty um and then I saw this amazing lionfish. I think it's starting to become my favorite fish just because it's so gorgeous, so eye-catching. Anyway, going back. So the dive case, I purchased it um, yeah, over a month ago. Tanya's mom brought it to the Philippines and finally I got to dive with it. And since I think I did the video already, I think by the time that you're going to watch this video, I already published the other video wherein I, I did an unboxing of this new mac mask that I got along with the dive case. So yeah, this is the Boshot Max Lux S. <laughs> That's quite a tongue twister. Boshot Max Lux S low volume mask. And I got one in purple and it was the only one left of its color. So I'm really happy to get it. But anyway, the mask is superb it is low volume like i said or i'm not sure if i already said that but i don't mind that at all um it lets in a lot of light so you know i i feel somehow i feel like i get to see more underwater which is really nice and of course similar to new masks i had well i didn't do it myself but i asked um the dive master to light it on fire <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but you hold the glass or the screen under a lighter and the idea of that is it will burn off any residue of any chemicals or whatever that might prevent you from seeing better underwater or um, it helps defog the mask if i'm making any sense so before we went underwater the first time we did that and then it actually fogged up a little bit and then so we had to do another round of it and then it didn't fog anymore so yeah very good quality mask um and what else oh actually the reason why i created this video like this like so in its raw format is because i do want to share how the insta 360 one rs looks like underwater i mean the footage of it looks like underwater as you can see it's very clear it's very true to color you know, GoPro, they automatically adjust the tone or the lighting and whatnot. But this one keeps it as it is. I guess I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, this is how it looks like without any color grading whatsoever. And yeah, I really like it. The only issue that I would have is I have been having a hard time editing this video just because the files are so big but i think there's an option there wherein you can of course customize the size of the video but i still don't know how to do it yet so yeah i'm just winging it and <laughs> and i'm really praying that it won't take forever for me to export this video just because the files are so massive moving on what else do i want to say about the camera oh another challenge that i actually experienced is I don't know how to change the settings underwater. I, there are no additional buttons on the dive case, so I don't think I'm able to do it unless, you know, maybe I'm just not that knowledgeable about this camera yet. But in GoPro, you get to choose which setting, right? You get to click, I don't know, like some buttons and it shifts from, let's say, a burst shot, a time lapse shot, or like a photo or a video. But here, 
if I select video, it's going to be video from the moment that we went underwater up until we go back to the boat. So yeah, that's that's one thing. Maybe that's a downside unless, like I said, I just don't know how to fix it. Anyway, so we were once again in Darilaot and Kyode was taking a lot of macro shots of nudies and whatnot. So Lois and I were pretty bummed. So we decided to explore deeper in this area. I don't remember how deep it was, but I remember her safety stop was at 16 minutes. I don't remember it being that deep, but oh well, <laughs> we had to follow it. Well, she had to follow it. I was up right away. So here, another shot of Kuya Deo just focusing on his photography. And this is how I look like while waiting for him to take his shots. Okay, going back to the rec site, um, as you can see, the color is quite bluish. Um, in GoPro, this would actually be, I don't know, a little bit greenish, like moss green, um, without any color grading. So I remember in our past dives, I used to GoPro 10, and it would really be quite a challenge for me to do some color grading in this area because, like I said, you know, it was really greenish. But here, I mean, it's okay. You know, I don't even have to color grade as much. Everything is bright. Um, you can see all the details in each frame, even the ones that are far away. It's still very visible. And I don't know, to be fair, it was really clear underwater. It's just sad that, you know, Lois and Kuideo forgot both GoPro. So I don't have any comparison video to show you. But yeah, I hope this video help someone out there who's trying to decide whether they want to get the Insta360 ONE RS or not, it is good. Um, aside from the button thingy, which I'm not sure if it's my fault that I don't know how to do that or if it's really a limitation on the camera. But yeah, the images are superb. Now, in terms of transferring files from the camera onto the app on my phone, um, it was relatively easy. It was easy to connect to the Wi-Fi of the camera and yeah, it was easy to transfer as well. It didn't take a lot of time. I think it was faster than a GoPro. Um, what else? Oh, and you also have the option to do the edits on the app itself. Like I can trim, I can also change the video speed. Like. The, the slow mo that I did earlier. So, yeah, I think the app itself is pretty cool. You can do a lot of things already just with the app. So, yeah, that's also another thing that you might want to consider uh, if you're deciding to buy this camera or not. And then it's time to go back in the water. This is a slow-mo shot that I did using the app. Pretty cool, pretty seamless. So yeah, I like it. So far, I'm loving the camera. Yeah, and during this part, I encountered this thing. Yep, it's someone's piece of garbage. Please keep your junk out of the ocean. People, be responsible. Yeah, this is me channeling my inner Elsa because it was really cold underwater and yeah, unlike her, it does bother me <laughs> and I'm wearing full gear, mind you. So yeah, oh and this part, I actually got acquainted with this beautiful stonefish. I think it's a stonefish, but it's, it's all black and it's really, really pretty. And if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me or educate me in the comment section below.
So like I said, these are raw files, so no color grading was done. But in this part, I don't know why, but it changed colors, which is strange. And then here, I'm showing you a capture of this cute fish and that puffer fish over there, which was huge. And this was during that one dive of the day that wasn't so bright. I did some color grading on this clip as well as the next one because I really wanted to highlight this beautiful puffer fish and it's just so pretty. But this is how it looks like with very minimal color grading. And then we're back to raw shots once again using the Insta360 ONE RS camera. That is my video of the week. I hope you enjoyed it and see you guys soon. Bye!